Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our third contest of the evening is fought in the Fight UK lightweight division under 155 pounds. Here I am with Dwayne Barnes. Uh, Dwayne trains out of uh, Iron Man Gym um, with Ronnie Man. He's a debut fighter on the amateur card tonight. Uh, Dwayne, how are you feeling tonight, mate? I'm feeling good. Yeah? Excellent. I made my way and yeah, I'm feeling pretty com um, positive and ready to fight. Excellent. Well, you seem confident. Obviously, you train with one of the best in the world, with Ronnie Mann. Yeah. Um, currently, uh, we're signed with the Cage Warriors promotion yeah. and tearing the scene up there. <laughs> I recently witnessed and judged him fight um, over in um, over in, uh, over in in Jordan yeah. and he put on a fantastic performance. Yeah. Now, obviously, if you're training with someone with the calibre of Ronnie, yeah. I would assume he's putting you through your paces quite dramatically. Yeah, definitely. He's been a, a whirlwind and, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm very grateful to the man. And, you know, it's a thing can only get better. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, look, you seem pretty confident for a first timer. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm assuming that Ronnie's talked you through the process yep. and he'll be quelling those nerves for you. As I said, one of the most experienced guys out there. You can't go wrong with getting there, yeah. someone like him teaching you. Yeah. Dwayne, like I say, first timer, so all that's left to say really, mate, is wish you the best of luck for Thank tonight. Thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you put on a good performance tonight. Hello. Okay, here I am with Dorian Barron. Dorian's fighting out of Charles Martin Martial Arts up in Doncaster. He's 1-0 and, and he's fourth on the bill tonight. Dorian, 18 years old, yeah, an up-and-coming prospect. How's things going for you? Uh, everything's going good. Uh, I'm a young prospect from Charles Martin Martial Arts. And trying to do my best, training hard. Trying to get up with the rankings and stuff. Excellent. Well, look, you've started a lot. You started a lot earlier than a lot of us, so you've obviously got a, a, a good road ahead of you. Mm -hmm. um, do you know much about your opponent? How have you been preparing for him? Uh, I've been fighting quite a long time for like two years. Last, and I've been, I, pre I prepared for him like for about two months. Last two months, I've been training hard to get ready for him, but. We'll see what's going to happen tonight. Excellent. Now, what are you looking for? Are you, are you preferring a knockout or a submission? I'll do my best to finish the fight quick, 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 quick as quick as possible. Excellent. Well, look, you look like you're in good shape. You look like you're hungry, Dorian. And, uh, like I say, your camp's uh, an up-and-coming camp, mm -hmm. so we're expecting some big things from you. I wish you the best of luck for tonight, and I hope it all goes well for you. OK, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Bristol. He's 28 years old, stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighed in at 155 pounds, fights out of Iron Man MMA, and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Dwayne Barnes. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Doncaster. He's 18 years old, stands six feet tall, weighed in at 151 pounds. He fights out of Charles Martin Martial Arts and has a mixed martial arts record of one contest with one win. Let's hear it for Dorian Barron. <laughs> Fight of the evening up here at Fight UK 10. We've got Dwayne Barnes representing Iron Man MMA in the grey shorts, taking on Dorian Barron in the black shorts. And first thing you have to say, Ben, I mean, when you're looking at these amateurs at, at this level, you're often looking into the corner and wow, Dwayne Barnes, he's got the likes of Ronnie Mann and Nad Naramani in his corner, which is a huge advantage at this level. Massively, there's nothing that's going to happen in there that they're not going to have seen, and it really gives you a lot of confidence as both fighters go to the go to the ground. And it's Baron who looks to end up on top, and he's got Mount quite early on. Yeah, a fantastic early position here for Baron and getting busy. I'm sure ground and pound. What I like was Davey secured the body triangle, felt the momentum was shifting and was going to buck him over, but had the presence of mind at this amateur level to switch over. Oh, wow, the standard of these amateurs. I mean, we keep saying it, but it just keeps, seems to get better and better. The matchmaker Ali Petit at Fight UK does such a great job finding these kids in the match. That, looks on. that looks very tight. Hand positioning straight away, fighting. Yeah, it's difficult to see from our vantage point now they've rolled over, but Dwayne Barnes in all sorts of trouble early on here. It looks like Dorian Barron lost the body triangle but still got that hook in, and now it looks like maybe he's transitioned to an arm bar. He's got the arm. Got to be careful, a big slam coming up, he slams his way out of it. Baron with the presence of mind to let that go, so the effect of him on the floor wasn't as concussive as it might have been. Looking for a triangle maybe now, Baron. 
Yeah, I think he's got it, Ben. It's Dorn tough to see for Rangel. Yeah. from Barnes. He's got that triangle, It looks ben. like he's got that in. He just needs to straighten the right leg. Cage not really helping him out, I think, now. Dorian Barron, but what a dangerous fight, Ben. Now he's gone back to the arm. Now he's going to the arm. Now he's attacking. Now there we go. There's the adjustment on the leg, and that is very tight. Look, and he pulls down on the head. Barnes really in a lot of trouble. Wow, he could go out here, Ben. He rolls he his could man go through. Out. He's thinking about tapping, but at the same time, he's still trying to fight to get that leg over. What a heart shown from both these guys. A real dogfight, this, for position. And if Barron can roll his man over and end up in mount. Only adjusts, and now he goes for the arm. But he's still got the leg in position. I'm surprised he went for the arm there, Ben, but, I mean, he had the choke on for a long time. It's difficult to see what's keeping Dwayne Barnes from going out then. It looked tight, he worked the angle, it wasn't as if he was square on. He was off at a 90 degree angle, Baron, but still not able to get the tap. Oh, that's a big shot. You get the feeling with Barnes, Dave, he's really looking for one big shot from the top. His ground and pound looks very heavy, the shots that he's landed, and he's looking for something a bit concussive. But Baron, for me, Dave, the most important thing he's done in this first round is sent a very clear message that he hasn't come here to lie down no, certainly. I mean, all the talk beforehand for me was mentioning Ironman MMA and from Barnes' corner. But, down there. You know, credit to the Charles Martin martial arts because, wow, Barron's definitely come in with a grappling pedigree, certainly. He looks fantastic on the ground. And what I like from this is, with Mount, he wasn't massively busy straight away. He knew the end of the round was coming and there was a chance for his man above. So he lay a little bit low and made Barnes really push to get him off. And Barnes, we could tell, a huge, huge physical exertion to try and roll his man over. There's Dorian Barron in the black shorts. Dwayne Barnes in the grey. As we say, Barnes may be the more physically imposing one, but he hasn't had it all his own way against Barron, who's shown nice use of momentum. That's a big leg kick. Got to be careful of that as well. He threw that, threw that kick to Barnes. It almost looked like it was going to the head. Yeah, I think Barron, Ben, was almost content to hit the floor there from that leg kick. I'm not sure how much that hurt him. It was, it was a very heavy kick, don't get me wrong, but he just wants to get back into these situations because he knows he's, he's causing so much trouble for Barnes. Yeah, good corner in there. You can hear Ronnie Mann telling Barnes to just back away. He knows that, you know, his man can't afford to play about in that armbar and triangle situation. Barron throwing a few shots himself. Nice big leg and shooting in and a nice double. Rolls through, but like you say, Dave, I don't think from Barron's point of view, he'll be, he'll be that worried what position he ends up on the floor. As long as it's on the deck, he can yeah. start working his jiu-jitsu. And he's shown that he can work off his back equally as well. Yeah, certainly. Uh, as you mentioned, he's not going to be too bothered. He looks very dangerous. And now he's looking around to take the back again. Fantastic work here from Baron. Out the back door, and it looks like he's securing the body triangle. If he can just pull his right leg across, lock the left foot under the crook of the right knee. And the thing with the body triangle that most people don't see, Dave, it's a good way of holding control, but also it's a great tool for sapping the strength because you can really irregulate the breathing of your opponent with him. Yeah, certainly. To Barnes's credit, he's rolling to that side, which is what you're meant to do. The side that's effectively being triangled, he's got to be careful. Down, looks but now like he's on his back, and now he could be struggling. It looks like he's giving the neck up. He's thrown a lot of thrown a lot of punches, but like I say, Dave, surely he should be looking to find the hands from this position. Yeah, definitely fighting the hands, getting two on one, and, and moving to that side as well where he was before. He needs to needs to go down to the to the side where both of Baron's legs are and, and put some pressure on that body triangle because it's too easy at the moment for Baron to control his posture. Now he's doing the right thing, Barnes. He just needs to get two on one, either get his back to the mat or turn into his man. Easier said than done, of course, from the commentary position. And Baron spending, especially Dave, we talk about the amateur fights, obviously with the shorter rounds. Baron doing a really, really good job of controlling a large period of this round from a dominant position. And that's something that the judges are going to be looking at. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we mention it all the time. Position is so important in these three-minute rounds. Uh, that's why it's, it's always worrying when you see guys going for guillotines and that sort of thing, because if you give up position in a round this short, it's very difficult to get that round back. And as you mentioned, Barnes has been fighting Baron off for the, you know, the large majority of this round, so he could be looking, if he survives this onslaught, at going in two rounds down. It's Baron who's maintained the position, still got the back, thrown some short shots, so we come to the end of the second. And it's a real tale of two game plans, this. 
Barnes, the, the, the larger fire, we've seen him uh, arguably with a more concussive value in his strikes, but he hasn't had an answer for the, the offensive grappling of, uh, of Dorian Barron. The classic striker versus grappler indeed. And for those of you playing the MMA commentators drinking game, that equates to two shots. Oh, some kicks once again from Barnes, initially looking to take the fight to his opponent as he knows he had to. Beautiful but Baron trip. really good at stifling, coming in, not really taking a lot of punishment, but now looking to thread the arm, see if he can get a standing guillotine. But this is it, Ben, he's going to have to give up the position. And, you know, Baron's going to be content to do this, try and stay on top and get that top position. Let Let be careful. Maybe. Could take the back again. No, credit to Barnes. Turns him over, ends up in the closed guard of Barron, and Barron's been able to do some great work here, and already, Ben, he's looking for an armbar, maybe. Very high guard, straight away, looking to switch those legs across. Isolates, and there comes the armbar, man. As Barnes comes in, grabs his own wrist, really needs to stack his man in this position, Dave. Yeah, I mean, credit to Barnes, Ben. I mean, let's face it, he hasn't been tapped, but it, it's all defense from him at the moment. He's not able to get any offense on the ground. Fantastic! You see how Barron just caught his man there? He just tried to tried to roll out of it, and now he's in a triangle position again. I'm really, really impressed with the groundwork of Baron. It really has been the X factor in this bout in a lot of respects. We're questioned about the cardio, and that hasn't been uh, an issue or a factor in this. But it has been, like I say, Baron. The, the impressive thing for me, Dave, was the fact that at this level, you don't usually see people thinking two or three moves ahead when you look at a no. submission sequence. Yeah. And that's exactly what we saw with Baron there. Yeah, you've got to have the, the peace of mind, Ben, as well. I mean, this is the third. They're both clearly fatigued. But as you say, Baron's still one step ahead in this chess game. And it's, this triangle's an interesting position. He's, he's a bit square on now, but as I say that, he moves around to the side. A few people have got different ways of finish this. Ryan Hall, he, he likes to use the outside arm, but as I say that, Baron just gives up now, looks to get that side control. And Ben, we've mentioned it many times in this fight. In these rounds, position is everything, so I'm sure he's going to be content to sit in this side control, Ben, and just score some points here, Baron, in the knowledge that he's most probably two rounds up. Exactly. I mean, you really take the you take the difficult decision out of the judge's hands. I mean, a sitting in guard is one thing and throwing kind of shots. When you advance to a, a, a more dominant position, a side control or a full mount, it is, one, it's, score, it's easier for fighters to, to gain points like that. But from a referee's point of view, it's a lot harder for them to stand the fight up. So with a similar degree of action, the, the, the sparse shots you see, you're obviously a lot less likely to get stood up from side control or mount, doing the same work rate as you are from guard. Uh, good stand-up, I think, from Mark Woodard there. As you mentioned, to keep him busy, Ben, not quite busy enough from Baron. And now Barnes is going to really throw help for Lever, Ben. He needs a stoppage here. I expect him to come out big. Ronnie Mann and Nad in his corner screaming, we need you to knock him out. They are very aware of the situation. Got to be very careful, but Baron, to his credit, Dave, has stuck to this game plan like glue. Yeah, fantastic performance from Dorian Barron against the extremely tough Dwayne Barnes. But the story of the fight will be the fantastic grappling on show from Dorian Barron. As I mentioned, Ben, credit to Barnes for, for not getting caught in the subs, but wow, what a performance from Barron and a real name to keep an eye on, I think. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges have rendered a unanimous decision, scoring about 29-28, 29-28, and 30-27 in favor of your winner, from the red corner, Dorian Baran! Well, let's hear it for a very gallant runner-up. Let's hear it for Dwayne Barnes.